Interact Accessories welcomes you to the mind-blowing world of video game enhancements with our new GameShark Pro. The GameShark Pro, which is more technologically advanced than any other game enhancer on the market today, promises to take your gameplay to higher levels. It's jam-packed with great new features. Let's take a look. GameShark Pro is loaded with hundreds of codes for more than 100 Nintendo 64 titles, so you're sure that all the biggest and best games are included. GameShark Pro contains enough memory to hold hundreds more GameShark codes, and the one new feature that makes the GameShark Pro the ultimate video game enhancer is its built-in code generator. The code generator gives you the power to produce your own jaw-dropping, game-winning GameShark codes, so why wait for cool new codes when you can produce them yourself? In this video, you'll discover how the GameShark Pro will revolutionise your gameplay, arming you with the power to load the most devastating codes available, and even showing you how to take things a stage further and create your own havoc-wreaking codes of destruction. The GameShark Pro is preloaded with a huge range of powerful GameShark codes, and using them couldn't be easier. From the hundreds of Nintendo 64 titles available on the GameShark Pro, select the game you've loaded from the game selection menu, then choose the codes you want to tailor the game to how you want to play it. Sometimes certain games won't work with the GameShark Pro until a special key code is activated. Now here's a list of Nintendo 64 games that require the use of a key code in order to work with your GameShark Pro. GameShark Pro comes preloaded with key codes for all of these games, and these key codes must be activated before the use of the GameShark Pro with one of these titles. However, since these games will not work with the GameShark Pro until the key code has been activated, you must first insert another game cartridge into the GameShark Pro in order to access the menu screen and activate the key code. To do this, simply choose a game that you know does not require a key code to work with the GameShark Pro. This will be your setup cartridge. Now we shall use Goldeneye. Since you want to play Zelda 64, go to the key codes menu and select the Zelda 64 key code by pushing the analog stick up or down to highlight the desired code and pressing the A button to select it. Because we have the Zelda 64 cartridge, we can select yes at the warning screen and press the A button. Once the key code is activated, turn off your Nintendo 64 system. Remove the GoldenEye setup cartridge and insert the game that required the key code, then turn the system on again. The GameShark Pro's main menu will appear and you can select your codes or start the game. If you don't have the key code game available, do not select yes at the warning screen. If you do select yes, then the next time you use the GameShark Pro, the game that you've activated the key code for must be inserted. Be warned, the GameShark Pro will not function until the game is inserted into it. As new games are released, some of them may require new key codes. Be sure to check out the GameShark website to find out more information about them. You can also read more about key codes in the Using Key Codes section of the GameShark Pro instruction manual. GameShark Pro's Memory Card Manager allows you to view the contents of any Nintendo 64 memory card up to 123 pages in size. Follow the simple on-screen instructions to load, save and copy game save between your memory cards. In addition, the Memory Card Manager makes it possible to copy game saves from the EEPROM of your game cartridges onto standard memory cards. You can even trade these saves with friends using Interact's N64 DEX drive. The GameShark Pro has a built-in image viewer that allows you to see graphics stored in the system memory the last time the freeze button of your GameShark Pro was pressed, so you can view graphics that would not normally be viewed during a game. Every keen game player is aware of the increasing levels of sophistication arriving with each new game that hits the shelves. Games are becoming increasingly more challenging, not only to novice players, but to hardcore gamers too. And no matter how we grade ourselves in terms of game playing dominance, sometimes we need help. And to meet this need, many game publishers now embed special effects into their games that allow you to bend the rules. You commonly find special moves, level skips and so on which are unleashed with the use of codes or fancy controller moves. GameShark Pro redefines the rules, letting you set the agenda. Now get ready, because we're going to teach you how to play and hack games like a pro using the GameShark Pro. Please understand that hacking your own GameShark codes may be a little difficult at first. After you study this video and actually try to find codes on your own a few times, you'll start to grasp some concepts of video game coding and the hexadecimal system used when hacking for GameShark codes. 
How does the GameShark Pro tilt the odds in your favour? Well, it starts with the codes. A GameShark code is a special routine that affects the way a game actually works. You can select any number of powerful codes to arm you with the ability to blast your games wide open. This means you can play a game with infinite life or health, infinite ammo, extra vehicles, extra weapons and so on. Whether you want to simply load in codes to enable you to complete a particular level, then disable them and go it alone, or if you want to really cheat by playing an entire game using the codes, the choice is yours. Before we look at how GameShark codes work, you'll first need to understand a little of how the actual engine of the game functions. Every game, whether it be a fighting, racing, adventure or shoot 'em up title, has a built-in table of events that holds the information about gameplay variables. This area might contain values for the current level, energy status, number of lives and so on. During gameplay, if for instance a life is lost, then the value at a particular memory location is reduced to reflect the new lower life value. Likewise, if the game player moves on to the next level, then a different value within memory will be increased accordingly. From this, you can see that you can actually affect the way a game's engine works. You have the ability to control these values by preventing the game engine from changing them in the normal way. GameShark Pro has the ability to prevent the values in memory from being modified by the game, and it actually takes control of these locations by forcing alternative values into them. This is done by the use of GameShark codes. A GameShark code is made up of two parts. The first part is quite simply the address of the memory location that we wish to take control of. This might be the location that controls lives, for instance. The second part of the code is the alternative value that we wish to place there. For instance, if this location normally contains only two lives, then a GameShark code for extra lives might read like this, where the nine equals nine lives. If you simply can't wait for codes for the newest blockbuster game, then GameShark Pro's built-in code finder is just for you. GameShark Pro has a powerful code generator system which allows you to find and create your own GameShark code. Operation of this feature is quite simple and you can soon be producing GameShark codes equal to those already available. One important point here is that to use the code generator feature, your Nintendo 64 must be fitted with a 4 meg RAM expander. Once your console is equipped with a RAM expander, you're ready to start using the code generator. The easiest way to demonstrate this feature is by example. From GameShark Pro, start the game as you would normally, without any codes enabled. Look for any elements you would like to change, for example, number of bullets, lives or money. So in this case, we want to make Duke's pistol bullets unlimited. To go about finding this code, press GameShark's freeze button, which takes you into the in-game menu. Select code generator option. From within this menu screen, select known value search. From the next menu, select equal to. Here we will enter the value 48, as this represents the number of bullets Duke has. GameShark tells us there are over 10,000 possibilities. So we go back into the game. We need to change our number of bullets, so to do this we fire once. OK, so we now have 47 bullets. Press the freeze button again. The known value search menu will appear. Select equal to and enter the new value 47. Now we have only two possibilities. So we select view search results. The codes we have found are displayed on the left of the screen. To discover which of these codes controls Duke's bullets, we need to try them out. So we select one of the codes, then return to the game and fire some bullets. The code that doesn't allow our number of bullets to be reduced is the correct code. So now throughout this level, Duke's pistol bullets will remain at 47. Now we've found our code, we need to save it. To do this, switch your Nintendo console off, then on again. This takes you back into the GameShark Pro main menu. Here we're going to select Cheat Codes. Select New Game, then Edit Name. Enter the name of the game. Then select it from the game listing. Select New Code. Enter a name for the code then edit the code. The code you have found appears at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Press C right to highlight the code, then press A to select it. Your code will now appear in the edit box. Select exit and save, and your code is now permanently stored in your GameShark. In some cases you may not know the value you're looking for. 
For example, an energy bar shows no number. To demonstrate how you would go about finding an unknown value of this type, we will use Midway's Mortal Kombat Trilogy, where we will look for player one's health. From within the code generator menu, select Unknown Value Search. Select Start. This initiates Game Shark's search. From here, we return to the game and lose some of player one's health. Once we've done this, we press the Freeze button and select Less Than Last. There are over a million possibilities, so we need to reduce this number to ideally around 20 possibilities. So we return to the game and lose some more health. Repeat the process as many times as necessary to obtain a manageable number of possibilities. In finding this code, we repeated this process eight times until we had reduced the number of possibilities down to 26. Then by process of elimination, we deduce which is the code that affects player one's health. Notice how player one's health bar doesn't go down. Then you simply save your newly found code in the way shown previously. So now you've seen how you can find and create your own simple codes. Using the same methods, you can go on to discover extra characters, lives, and even create new game scenarios. We offer several valid sources of the newest and oldest codes. We have a weekly updated 900 line, 1-900-773-SHARK. There's a free access website, www.gameshark.com, and we publish a bi-monthly newsletter called Dangerous Waters. We also supply codes for your favourite video game magazines like Game Informer, EGM, Expert Gamer and Tips and Tricks. Finally, Prima Publishing has released two official GameShark code books that sell in bookstores and game retailers nationwide. Memory cards. Tiny, inconspicuous, small. With today's video games taking up more and more space on a memory card, gamers have less and less space to store all of those favorite game saves. Not to mention the amount of space you lose with the mountain of memory cards you have accumulated. Why choose which saves to keep and which to delete when the Dex Drive gives you the ability to store all of your game saves on the biggest memory card created, your PC? Use the Dex Drive to email your best game saves to friends around the world or download new game saves from the Dex Drive website. All of this power is available to you with the use of only one memory card. The Dex Drive is available for the Sony PlayStation and for the Nintendo 64. The Dex Drive, it moves mountains. Oh, look how this controller sparkles. Okay, Janice, now this is the SuperPad 64 for the Nintendo 64 gaming console. Do you see how it's gold to match the huge hit Zelda Ocarina of Time? Oh, that's just wonderful. You know, Janice, we've got a gold memory card to match. Oh, would you look at that? This is just perfect for anyone who really wants to look good with the matching controller and memory card. Plus, if you've got the gold Zelda card, you're going to stop traffic. Now this is a limited edition item, so you better get them while they're around. The V3FX racing wheel, coming soon for use with the Sony PlayStation and Nintendo 64. With the V3FX, you can... And don't forget that you can also... Actually, you can't do any of that with the V3FX, and we strongly recommend that you don't. But what you can do with the V3FX is experience all the hottest racing games with total control and ultimate comfort. Two powerful motors provide vibration feedback, letting you feel every jolt, turn, and impact that games have to offer. The V3FX racing wheel for Sony PlayStation and Nintendo 64. Use it to play games, not to make salads. 